Hello everyone. My name is Krishnan Thiruvengadam. I'm a technical marketing engineer from the policy and access team in Cisco. I'm here to give you a brief demonstration of ACS to ICE migration. Data migration is a process of moving configuration from one system to another. Cisco ACS is an enterprise appliance supporting two fundamental use cases, secure access and access control for wired, wireless, and VPN networks, comprehensive device administration capabilities to enterprise and service providers. Cisco Eyes is a next generation appliance providing value to customers with its easy to use user interface and its easy to manage functionalities. Cisco Eyes provides a plethora of services beyond access control and device administration. It provides guest access service to enable internet access to guests easily. ICE gathers rich context from the network using a variety of probes, providing deeper visibility on endpoints, users, etc., using beautiful and customizable dashboards, and so much more. Now, the challenge is to migrate the configuration from ACS to ICE. Cisco provides an easy and automated way of migrating configuration from Cisco ACS 5.5 onwards to ICE2X using a migration tool. This migration tool is enhanced and made available in Cisco software download page under ICE21 for everyone to use. Migration of configuration has four distinct parts. Exporting of configuration from ACS, fixing gaps and errors if any, and re-exporting if needed. And Finally, importing configuration to ICE with verification. Let me start the demonstration. For this demonstration, I have two simple configuration in ACS. One is a shell profile, another one is a command set. Now, I have logged into a Windows 7 box in my lab that has direct access to both ACS and ICE. And I have logged into the ACS UI. So let's take a look at the policy elements, where the shell profiles and the command sets are located. This would be the new shell profile I have created. All the other shell profiles and command sets were already made available in ICE before this demonstration. This is for the user role, network administrator, that has full privileges. The second one is the command set that I have created to limit command level access to the network admins. So I have allowed only certain commands to monitor the device. And I have denied all the other commands for writing, configuring, or copying the configuration within the device. As part of the migration, we want to make sure these two objects are migrated over from ACS to ICE. For the sake of this demonstration, I have already installed the migration tool on this machine. The migration tool is a zipped file that can be downloaded from the Cisco software download page. Once the migration tool is downloaded, it can be extracted to a folder as shown here. The two important things that you need to know is one, the reports folder. The migration tool stores the export, import, and the policy gap analysis report in this folder. The second one is the migration.bat file. This is what is used to start the application. Let me double click to start the application. It shows you the welcome screen, I click OK. And then it gives you three options based on the use case and based on customer deployment. If your customer is using device administration, you can choose attack axe configuration option. If your customer is using network access, typically, you can use radius configuration or both in case your customer is using both in the same deployment. I'm going to choose the first option and click OK to open up the migration tool UI. This shows the configuration areas and objects that can be migrated from ACS to ICE. The migration tool is very flexible and granular and provides you the ability to select either all the configuration or only certain configuration from a particular area. I'm going to select the policy elements and the external servers container. 
the migration tool UI is self-explanatory. If you want to export from ACS, you'll have to click on that button. If you want to open up the export reports, you'll have to click on the export reports button. The same with the import to ICE and import to port. To the right of the migrated objects, you see the progress, the object count, and other indicators such as warnings and errors showing the status of the migration. So let me export the configuration from ACS by clicking the export from ACS button. The migration tool gives you a dialog box to type in the host name and the user credentials. The host name should be very similar to the subject name of the certificate already installed in the migration tool. Now I type in the admin username and the password and click connect. The migration tool securely connects to the ACS using REST APIs and starts the export. Now, as a prerequisite, you'll have to install the certificates of ICE and ACS here. You have to go to Settings, Trusted Certificate, and install the certificates here. If you have a CA signed certificate, you'll have to install the CA root cert and the intermediate cert here. Please make sure that the host name that you're connecting to from the migration tool corresponds to the subject name of the certificate. The migration tool verifies the host name as well as the IP address. So the migration tool also shows the process as well as the progress of the migration. The process indicator shows it's exporting. And if you open a policy element, it shows that these are the objects that are getting exported. The progress status gets updated to finished once the migration tool completes export for that particular object and moves to the next object. Let's give it a minute or so for the migration tool to complete. The migration tool export has completed with 11 warnings and one error. Let's click on the 11 warnings and open up the report. As you can see, it shows that there are certain object types that has unsupported characters. The migration tool will automatically convert this unsupported character such as hyphen to a supportable character in ICE such as underscore. It does this automatically. Let's click on the errors to open that one as well. It says that the date and time condition cannot be migrated because the timetable selection is not supported in ICE. Yes, ICE 21 does not support the timetable. However, the time and the date condition and the range is supported so you can create an inline condition in ICE authorization policy as a workaround for this. Now let's take a look at the export report. The export report will give you the execution time summary including the start date and end date and time and duration. It shows that the export took around 2 minutes and 46 seconds to complete. It also gives you the status of the export per object whether it is successful or if it has warnings, etc. Now having completed exporting, let's import this configuration to ICE. To start the import, you'll have to click on import to ICE button. Type in the host name, admin credentials, and click connect. Now you can see that the current running process shows that it is importing now. And the import has already completed. We can see that the import is much faster than the export. Let's take a look at the import report. It shows the execution time summary with a duration of 7 seconds. So the total time taken for the migration can be from few hours to up to 2 days. If you have a fully configured ACS in a very large scale environment, the import report has several warnings as well that are benign because these objects already exist in ICE. The migration tool shows 192 warnings and all of them are benign with the same reason that these objects were already available in ICE. It also shows that it has successfully imported two objects of interest which are the command set and the shell profile that we created in ACS. Let's log into the ICE UI to confirm that. Now, I am in the ICE UI, in the Work Center Device Administration Overview section. I have to go to the Policy Elements, Results, 
attack axe profile and let me reverse sort it yes I can see the test network administrator being imported successfully with a privilege level of 15 as was configured in ACS let us take a look at the attack axe command sets to make sure the network admin limited access command sets got migrated let's also make sure the commands within the command sets are migrated as well we can see that there are 10 deny commands and 8 permit commands as configured in ACS. This shows that the migration tool has the capability to migrate from few to all the objects accurately from ACS to ICE. This concludes the demonstration of ACS to ICE migration.